我们出来，在一个陌生的地方，文化不一样，语言不一样，最先想到的肯定是，嗯、呃，要找自己的同胞。我平时跟中国人太多，因为，嗯、呃，跟他们因为语言没有那么多障碍，所以跟他们比较好沟通。嗯，我还平时和中国的同学在一起的时间更多一些，因为交流和沟通起来更方便，可以不论在学习上还是生活中，可以给互相帮助。相较而言，和外国同学文化差异比较大，就很难融入到彼此的生活当中。有的时候呢，会产生一些不必要的矛盾和摩擦。而我的同学 Run 呢，他和外国同学沟通的不错，他或许有更多的故事分享给你们I was not lonely. I was not lonely when I first arrived in England. I made a few friends, and I feel quite curious about so many things here. I would walk around on the street, would take pictures for so many beautiful houses. I would go to Millennium Bridge to see the sunset, or go to see the buildings at my university. I spend a lot of time on studying because, well, I notice that so many Chinese friends always stay with Chinese people only. Maybe they think it is easier to communicate with the people from the same culture. It's normal. I think so as well. But I want to challenge myself. I want to study English well and blending with British group. So I try to communicate with some British students. However, they speak really fast, and I can't get what they said. It's even harder to find a common topic of conversation. I feel really anxious about it. The worst things comes. I had a quarrel with my friends. We are estranged from each other. Loneliness comes to me. When I feel lonely, I would learn English. I would listen to English radio. And look through some English news. I want to overcome the so-called language barrier, and of course, I would also read a lot. Lonely life is always boring. When I feel boring, I would play my guitar. Guitar is my loyal friend. When I feel hungry, I would cook some noodles or frozen dumplings. I feel tough about cooking, so I eat a lot of dumplings. My classmates even say that I look like a dumpling as I eat too much of them. Eating simple food also makes my life boring. When I can't stand eating dumplings anymore, I would go to find some recipes online. I would also call my mom because I want to make some food that my mom cooked for me. I want to learn from her. I really like the dish called fried tomato with broccoli. My mom always cook it for me. This time, I try to cook it for myself. It's difficult. But I enjoy it. Eating the home cooking, I feel like being at home. This feeling encourages me. 
so I decide to fight with difficulties in my life, just like overcoming the tough cooking process. I start to think about the way I used to communicate with British. I realize that I used to communicate with them intentionally in order to learn English. I will think about what I have learned, or whether my pronunciation is right, when I speak to them. It makes me so nervous. I should relax myself and concentrate on people I'm talking with. I should be natural and not to be afraid of my English level. I was right. One time, when I went to an activities in the church, I met James. He's very friendly as well. Since I've persuaded myself to be more natural, I'm not nervous anymore. I feel quite relaxed and focus more on sharing stories. We talked a lot. We even find a common interest: playing music. He plays the violin. And I play guitar. Sometimes we would practice playing music together. We like playing the song called "Green Sleeve." We become very good friends, and he encouraged me a lot. After that, I feel more confident and relaxed when I talk with natives. I think it is time to throw my loneliness away. This is my story: be natural, be confident, and communicate by your heart. We won't feel lonely anymore.